The Illinois Supreme Court has upheld the assault weapons ban law in the state. The law was enacted in January, barring the sale of dozens of specific types of rifles, handguns and magazines. News 8's Joe McCoy spoke with gun owners on both sides of the river on the controversial ruling. It's our top story at 6. In a four to three decision, the Illinois Supreme Court has upheld the state's ban on the sale or possession of semi-automatic weapons like this one. I think it's definitely gonna negatively impact all of the recreational shooters in our area. Dakota Hagerman owns Carry On Gun Range in Rock Falls. I think that violence is an action. You know, if somebody's gonna do a violent thing, they're gonna do it with anything out there. So not necessarily just the gun. In March, a judge in Macon County found the assault weapons ban law violated the equal protection and special legislation clauses of the Illinois Constitution. That judge was overruled today. We still have to abide by the Illinois laws. Even though Janelle Westrom's gun store sits in Davenport, this ruling greatly impacts her. If somebody's coming and they want to buy a rifle, I, have, I can't make that sale. If it's a pistol with more than 15 rounds, I can't make that sale. So we, we lost half our business effectively. Janelle isn't holding back. Illinois residents are not allowed to buy anything to modify an AR style firearm. For instance, if you want to change your rear sight or your front sight, this is a no, no, it's stupid. Governor J.B. Pritzker said in part today, quote, this is a common sense gun reform law to keep mass killing machines off of our streets and out of our schools. There's numerous Illinois shops that have closed because they just don't want to deal with the Illinois crap. Stop making us feel like we're the bad guys here. We're not. In Rock Falls, Joe McCoy, WQAD News 8. Illinois was the ninth state to place prohibitions on semi-automatic assault weapons. The case could reach the federal level.